tracking a cool night. We have had a little bit of cloud cover trying to move in this evening. That should keep us in the 30s. We're dropping down to about 33 by tomorrow morning. I'm expecting partly cloudy skies tomorrow, but strong winds pick up early in the day, and that should send our temperatures well above average by almost 20 degrees. We're going to see highs getting up into the 60s tomorrow. I'm planning on a cloudy late afternoon, but those winds will likely get up to around 35 miles per hour at times, possibly a couple spots where we see gusts up to 40 miles per hour ahead of our next cold front that's still out to our west. So things are looking quiet tonight. Just a batch of some cloud cover trying to move in this evening, and that should keep us in the 30s by tomorrow morning. Here's what the future track looks like to start off. Definitely want to have that warmer layer for the morning, but the afternoons are going to be quite warm. Unfortunately, we're going to have those strong winds to deal with as our temperatures climb up into the 60s. We'll see those strong winds coming from the south with cloudy skies. Getting into the evening, likely after sunset is when that cold front will start approaching. We'll have a chance for some light showers overnight. Not expecting much more than trace amounts of rainfall with this, but we're going to see about a 10 degree temperature drop getting into Tuesday. Now we'll start off Tuesday morning in the upper 30s to about 40 degrees. Getting into the afternoon, we'll make it up into the upper 40s to around 50, but I'm tracking low pressure off to our south. That's going to stand, start sending some showers our way as early as late Tuesday afternoon. The rain looks to continue through much of Tuesday night into Wednesday, and that should keep our temperatures in the upper 40s for most of Wednesday before we get a little bit of a break on Thursday afternoon. Here's our seven day rain tracker. The highest amounts of rain are going to be along and south of I-70 where we could see at least a half an inch to an inch of rain. South of I-44, we could pick up upwards of two to three inches over the next seven days. A lot of that is what we're going to see between Wednesday and Thursday. But there's a possibility we could see another round of some precipitation Thursday night into Friday. So kind of an active pattern this week. Overall temperatures do look to stay above average the entire week except for Friday. There is a chance with what what we see moving in on Thursday night into Friday could become a rain or a wintry mix. Depending on the temperatures right now, I'm expecting morning lows on Friday get to get down to about 32 degrees. It'll be our coolest day of the week as we only see a high near 40, but the weekend is looking nicer. As we get into next Saturday and Sunday, expect more sunshine, highs in the 40s and 50s.